there isn't a chance of me getting into that meeting room now. It's been full since 11 o'clock, apparently. I can't think of a better set of results in setting the stage for next year. It looks like there could be something there, there's some contradictions, there's a little range where there's all kinds of possibilities. We haven't ruled it out completely. We can't guarantee it's there. It's all the suspense. It's like a Disney movie. We still need many more collisions next year in order to get a definite answer on the Shakespeare question on the Hicks to be or not to be. Like the Higgs, we had a hint of a signal. We emailed the entire collaboration, warning them in the next two weeks we may have a discovery of a new fundamental force in our hands. More data came in, and we're just waiting for a few more events, and they never came. So this is statistics, um, this is probability. I mean, the chances of flipping a coin um, heads up ten times in a row is low, but it happens, and that basically happened to us. It was very emotionally draining, actually. This is also why I'm not so, so excited about the Higgs, because I've seen such significant excesses. Um, disappear to nothing. Science is very conservative discipline. It's something in which the bigger is your claim, uh, the harder time you have in your life to, to convince everybody, because you really have to convince everybody. A collaboration like Atlas, it has nearly 3,000 people on it. Um, everyone who is member of this collaboration should be happy that the results that are being produced in their name are, are right. We're all scientists, we're all equals. If somebody has a very strong complaint about a result or something that we're, putting, we're potentially putting out and they're willing to speak out against it strongly, they can stop the whole process, one person. Are you asking me if I would like that there is a Higgs boson? Or that I would like that there is no Higgs boson? I would say I have no opinion on the Higgs boson. It is a theoretical mechanism, it's a theoretical model, and my mission as an experimentalist, as I see it, is to try and rule out. It's not up to me to kind of uh, have an opinion on what nature is. 